What's going on guys? Welcome to uh, some standard videos here on uh, YouTube or Twitch or wherever you're watching this. Uh, I'm going to actually take this sweet uh, Bant Planeswalker list for a spin. We got two Oath of Teferis, three Lyra Dawnbringers, three Teferis himself, three Nissas, two Ajani's, three Gideons, and we got some Sealaways cast out and some Sell the Records just for removal. We also got a Lyra. Um, one thing I was just mentioning was uh, Oath of Teferi. It, it obviously, like the only real things you could blink for benefit are planeswalkers to reset them uh i guess you could attack with lyra and then blink her to untap her so it's kind of like giving her vigilance one turn i guess you could also blink a servant to get more energy but it's weird because it, it, it almost implies that you want to blink a planeswalker with it to reset it and then to use it again but it doesn't come back until the end of the turn at the beginning of the next end step. Yeah, so like, it would be sweet if you can go like play Teferi with, well, like say you have Oath of Teferi, or you, you have a Teferi in play, and you activate his ability, and then you play Oath of Teferi to blink him, and then you activate it two more times, and then you're getting three activations in one turn thanks to Oath of Teferi, but like, if you have a Teferi in play and you use his ability, and then you play Oath of Teferi, and then you just blink him, it's actually, I mean, I guess you could go negative three Oath of Teferi to make him plus one. Or to you know to give to to make it so he's four he stays at four. You also can't blink Nissa. I mean, alternatively, you can blink like a seal away or a cast out to put on a different creature. But the blink ability seems pretty random. I'm not really, not really thrilled about it. Um. Yeah. All right. I mean, other than that, the deck looks sweet. So I'm just gonna play it in a few uh, in a few cues. See how we like it. And away we go. And I'll have the deck list in the uh, the video description, so you guys can check it out there. Well, this hand's not going to do it. I mean, if we draw a basic, we can play a servant on turn two. Otherwise. We just get to play Lana War Elf. I'm still going to keep it. Hand still seems fine. I mean, outside of the uh, the mana predicament. Oh, uh, I see. I see. Oh, that was a good draw. I mean, these still come to play tapped, but... I mean, you get to play a... Turn one elf. If we draw another land, we can play it. We can play servant. Otherwise, we can just play a tap land and, and servant. I will not block this guy. Oh, I guess you don't even want to attack with him. <coughs> oh, we both have white. Green seems like a, a more relevant color. And despite the fact we do have a land of elf and a servant in the condo, we can play actually settle next turn, but that doesn't seem great. So, I guess we can play Nissa next turn for one, put her to three, depending on what our opponents do. I'm going to wish my opponent good luck. Well, I'm going to wish it back to them, which is basically the same thing. That is a goblin. That did not get raided. Oh, that's a good draw. Huh. We could just play Oath of Teferi, then double activate Nissa next turn for like a million? Goblin gift, huh? Good to know. I wouldn't have known that had you not said anything. <laughs> so it doesn't have haste, but if they play Goblin War Chief, they can go 1 2 War Chief. One, two, War Chief. One, two, three. If they have a land, they only get four. So they can't. Siege Gang and War Chief. Michael Sticks. Glad to hear, buddy. Welcome to the live version. Um, If we play Nyssa, one, two, three, four, five. I think we can play Nyssa here. One, two. So, like, 
We could activate Servant to do this, but by not doing that, uh, we get a blocker, a potential blocker. And we're just going to scry two here. I don't want them to be able to get rid of her and then... Uh, I don't want either of these, to be quite honest. So I'm just going to ship them to ship town. And we can play Teferi next turn. Oath of Teferi, rather. No attacks. <coughs> if we'd like. And I hopefully I feel a little... Hopefully I sound a little bit better to you guys. Hard to say. Oh, I like the fact that you can uh, sacrifice your goblins to to fill up your graveyard for Gate to the Afterlife. That's pretty sweet. Oh, that's exciting. Well, that's they're tapped out for the turn, which is nice, because they're not going to attack. So that means Nyssa suffers no fools. One, two... See, here's the problem. Actually, we might as well use her, the servant because we're just going to blink it. That's what we're going to blink. So white. Uh, and blinking Nissa sounds terrible. <laughs> she just dies. Uh, blink you. So now we can actually scry to put her to six and then plus and then zero her. That's actually baller. I'm a fan of that. Uh, so we can go. What does it say? If it's a land card or a creature card with her mass less than or equal to the number of loyalty counters. All right. So we can actually keep the Gideon, I guess. And we'll just put the land on top. And we'll just look at the top card and put it on top. And we're one mana shy of being able to settle the wreckage here, but... Actually, we can't activate the Servant of the Conduit, so... Two mana. Here we go. Here we go. Some kind of shenan... I'm waiting. I haven't, I haven't looked at this deck closely enough to know what goes on. So I'm just assuming some sort of shenanigans are happening. Alright. One down. I mean, they don't have the mana to activate. Oh, they do, don't they? So they can draw and then discard twice? Oh, this is some shenanigans right here. I don't like what's happening right now. I'm not a fan. Oh, that's a token. That's a, that's a little, little, little treasure token. They only have two creatures in there. Oh, they only have one card in hand? Never mind. My fear has been allayed. Maybe. Alright, that's not a creature. That's good to know. Okay, that's a creature, though. Come on, Nissa. Can we actually win next turn? Can we can we Nissa and then play Nissa for four, and like activate her twice on all our lands? Oh, another at twenty four. Oh, that's obnoxious. So we could deal twenty, but not not the extra four. All right, so one two one two three four five. Don't be a, don't be a creature. Oh no. So you sack this guy. Well, that's this guy. They sack this guy anyway, so it's just fine. Man, this is a this is a weird. This deck is weird, man. So what do you get back here? None of these cards are that. You just, you gotta get chain 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 whirler, right? You like how I said ch 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 chain whirler. Yeah, seems good. Goodbye, Lone War Elf. Goodbye, Nissa. They have no cards in hand. 
One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, Nissa can go to one. That's fine. Gideon of the trials. Um, let's scry. See what's on top. Land or creature we can put into play. Seal away and a raft. Hmm. Well, this can't get rid of a god for how do we how do we win this game? I guess we just have to find like a Lyra, right? So bottom both of these. Bottom both of these as well. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's pretty good. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Gideon, champion of the parish. That's not please, that's not his name at all. Alright. Um let's make an emblem and blank your chain whirler. And that's my turn. That's all I'm doing. And we have Anissa here. All right. Everybody wins. Real tempted to just attack with Servant here. I can't do that because we have Settle the Wreckage in hand. <coughs> Not thrilled about What's your top deck? A Wily Goblin. It's pretty good. I mean, like, one, the gate to the afterlife is real good because, like, you can just cycle through the guys. Yeah, you can just sack that guy to try to hit a different, hit, hit another creature, like a Siege Gang Commander, which is ultimately what you're looking for, I'm sure. So that's probably going to be on top. There it is. Okay. <sighs> Absolutely incredible. I don't know how these things happen, but, uh, Really? It's not legendary. I always think it's legendary, and it's not legendary. David, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. Also, I will likely be playing your, your mill deck tomorrow, if that works for you. Let me know. Can I just Do I just give them a million lands here? I imagine they get War Chief and they get Siege Gang. There's a War Chief. That was very strange how the Siege Gang was just right there. Dr. Funkburger, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I'm uncomfortable with what's happening right now. They could have put us in a very awkward position by shooting the servant before uh, before attacks, so that I don't have enough mana to settle. But they have to also put us on settle. Like that's kind of an obscure play, and they also have to. I just alpha here, right? Like you got a million dudes. Oh, you're trying to figure out who to go at, I guess. Who goes where? Two, three. Darkwing Duck, that's awesome to hear, man. Hope uh, hope that's a good thing and not a sad thing. Because magic can be uh, quite the, the wallet killer. This is a lot of decisions to be made here. All right. No Chain Whirler. That's interesting. Are you going to kill the servant? Probably. Thought I was watching YouTube. Did you try to pause it?
I don't know what's going on here, but I don't think it's going to end well for us, that's for sure. Maybe it is? I don't know. What's he going to do? Siege gang this guy? All right. Deal. Got a little score to settle with you. A little score wreckage. Oh, we just win the game. That is not what I expected. Like, you could have actually... Sacked two to shoot, sacked two more to shoot. So you could have gotten rid of, like, Gideon. You have double God Pharaoh's gift. I, I don't think this game was over by any means. Forsake the worldly times two. What does this guy do? Not relevant here. We could... Actually, negate seems great, too. Dang. <clears throat> cast, cast uh, we're going to take out the seal aways we'll bring in I don't actually love negate because it only counters like their uh, it only counters gate to the afterlife because there's a uh, I mean if they, once they land it they can just cheat god pharaoh's gift into play like that without having to cast it which is probably would probably want one cast out, one fumigate. I like having another another board wipe because these these decks can get a little a little dicey. Uh, deck list is not mine. It just ended up going five zero in a in a league. So did you decide to actually buy these cards? No, these are no Magic Online. I can I can get cards on Magic Online, yeah, uh, as pretty easily. Whereas real life is a little more difficult. It's a little more difficult of a proposition. Also, like, Lyra's, like, 10 to 12 on Magic Online, whereas she's 35 in real life. So, a little bit of a disparity there. Not really the same. I don't think... I don't think going to 5 is great for them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Monsanto. I don't know why they conceded. That was my question as well. Felt a little preemptive. Oh, servant of my mom. That doesn't even make any sense. It's not even a joke. It's just some words that he put in a sentence and they don't even make sense. Well, I have four cards, so that's not terrible for us. I will not block because it has menace. Uh, I have no idea where... If you're referring to Mike, I have no idea where Mike is. I don't keep tabs on him. Two Lyras in Baltimore for 60 each. Dear God. Dear God. That is gross. So I guess we're just playing Dovin Bond. And accepting that he's going to get a beating. I don't think it matters which one we target. Uh, I'm pretty sure most parents don't know where their kid. Even if I okay, let's say theoretically I was Mike's dad, right? Um, I'm pretty sure most parents most parents don't know where their kids are at every single moment, especially when they're in their late twenties. So I'm not sure how me being his dad, if that was the case, actually is relevant. Relevant. Alright, what does this do? Draw two cards? Yeah, I'm just going to assume this is fine. I'm going to bring the Dawn. Hey guys, did you hear about the Dawn? I brought it. My mom tries and I'm... Yeah, they try, but... Uh, 
Uh, I don't. As Mike's fake dad, I don't. And where are you now? I'm at my house right now. This is where I live. Throne of the God Pharaoh. Okay. I don't know what's happening right now, but... So if he taps both of these guys, we gain five, but then we do lose one from the tapped guy. So, oh, I guess we just win. All right. So next seems pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know if there's anything I'm ch gonna change after one game. I liked everything I saw, so we'll give it another go. Bant super friendos. Super Friendario. If you guys want to donate to get Mike a tracker, that seems uh, like a like a like a worthy donation. <clears throat> Uh, also, top eight on PT. I don't know if that that seems more relevant than the top eight on a GP. But what do I know? You think this guy's an actual doctor? What's the next for? Oh, this hand makes me sad face. Oh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something over here. I forgot what it was. Oh, I know. Thank you. Oh, Jade88, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the uh, Assault I Brood. I will mulligan. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we got it. I'm gonna bottom you, even though I really want to play you. But that's not how it goes. Hinterland Harbor. Where, where my whites be at? That only sounded racist. It was not racist. Sathos, what's going on, buddy? Also, Sunday morning, kind of funny. Uh, it is still Saturday night here, so we are clearly in different time zones by a, a sizable margin. Oh, I would play at a PPTQ today 100% just because I, I think this format looks fun. And I like that uh, no one knows what to play, so. Oh, an Amber Mox, huh? What's even happening right now? Well, that was pretty good. That's not very good. Welp. This is not how you win games, my friend. Uh, will you play, play Brawl? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know if you mean now or at some point. I, I'm not sure. I imagine I could. I could play some Brawl. We could Brawl. I haven't looked too heavily at uh, at, at Brawl, though. At, at the format in general, so. Oh my god. What is happening right now? I feel like there's a lot of degeneracy happening and like it's really like it's kind of like low-key degeneracy uh every day is chicken sunday sathos so i wouldn't worry about that too much i'm having a good time well we're definitely boarding out like settler wreckages and stuff Well, Brawl's still new. I would give it some time. I wonder if people even understand how the how the form like it's it's still a super new format. And like for me, like I haven't read the I didn't read the article that was dedicated to Brawl, so all I know about it is like word of mouth. So 
you know, in that sense, it still doesn't really exist as a format to me yet. It's just kind of like a thing people are talking about, like tiny leaders. So it's going to take some time for it to like s cement itself as like a real thing. Um, choose a card. The card that I choose will be put into your hand. You can have that one. Does this go under Karn? It should go under Karn, right? Because it doesn't have a silver counter on it. How do I know? You're supposed to exile with a silver counter. How do I know this is the one? You still need to prepare your chicken daily so you can take the most advantage of chicken Sunday. That's a good point. <clears throat> I hadn't considered that. Okay, so they have seven cards. We know one is a reverse engineering. Boy. I'm going to look in the exile zone instead of the revealed zone. That is a good point. I don't know who said that. Draconis. Good call, buddy. You're living <clears throat> you're living your best life right now. If I play this Lyra Dawnbringer, do they just kill us? I don't know what this deck does. I'm going to look it up right now. I'm going to look this deck up. And I'm going to find out if we're dead. Oh, it's a Paradoxical Storm deck, I guess. Okay. So... Oh, there's no Karns in this version. Interesting. <clears throat> I don't know what to do right now. I just want to play this Lyra, but... It feels pretty slow. I feel like we're really uh, outclassed here in the first game here. Oh, they're just gonna metallic rebuke us. I'm this game is this game is over. If they care, they might not even care. Metallic rebuke costs two now. I totally forgot about metallic rebuke. So we are going to board into all of the things that are not settle the wreckage and seal away. Seems like a lot of a lot of thinking they're doing here. You just rebuke it. That's all. Z Drake, what's going on? Is there spyglass on the board? I don't even know what that is. <clears throat> what are you saying right now? I think you're drunk. I definitely, yeah, like if four of the... Actually, Gideon might stay, because it requires them to... Uh, if their wind condition is like either Flux Reservoir, then they have to shoot the Gideon and then shoot our face. Yeah, they came back. A Sorcerer's Spyglass? David, can you not see the board? What's going on, buddy? There's two prophetic prisms and a mox amber and a karn. Feel free to feel free to crank that stream up to 1080p, buddy. <clears throat> it's the only way to live. Oh, on the Oh, is there spyglass in the Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. No, there's no spyglass in the board. Come on, who's playing that card? Not on the board, in the board. Now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, boy. Oh, dang. What in the earth is even happening right now? This is fantastic. Who would not want to play this standard format? This is great. They're going to activate Karn, right? Did they, not, did they not activate Karn? Oh, 
Oh, they put the they put the reservoir into their hand. Seems good. Look at this weird token. Like this token seems totally like not magic. It feels like a Fallout like battle tech token. It's very strange. Oh, here we go. I don't know how we win this game, and by win this game, I mean we probably lose this game. That's very strange. Two six sixes. One, two, three, four. You can five and temporal sundering again. That would be pretty sweet. I would be impressed if you did that. Well, now you can't. Okay. Oh, that's good. Comes in play tapped. I like it. I am a fan. JK. JK. Not a fan. I don't think we can beat this. It's just my estimation. I would love to get rid of this guy, but it's untapped. So we have no way to do that. I guess we can get rid of his friend. Doesn't seem that impressive, though. I don't think we can actually beat this. Two seven sevens. They have four cards in hand. I'm going to go to the next game because this feels pretty hopeless. We know one of their cards is the Aetherflux Reservoir as well. So, All right. Let's take out the Sealaways. Let's take out the Settle the Wreckages. And let's bring in Forsake, Forsake, Negate, 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 Negate. And probably double cast outs. Maybe Blink of an Eye too. Dovin Bond can come out for one blink. I like. Oh, we need we need to cut one thing already. Well, dang it. Well, dang it. Take a one of Johnny. I think this is fine. This mana base does feel a little awkward. We uh, what do we got? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven white mana. Meanwhile, we have 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 blue. 15 blue and 11 white. That seems really not correct. Double, 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 plus the double, double, double. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. <coughs> oh, speak of the devil. I'm going to keep this hand. Any green and we're, we're okay. Probably going to cycle the cast out as well. <laughs> Not ideal. Also not ideal. Yeah, this mana base is probably my biggest contention right now. Hmm. Every game with this guy. All right. Well, it's clear. It's clear you're not even trying, deck. For sake, the worldly is pretty good, but. Not when we can't actually advance our board state in any way. Yeah, I don't hate hub, especially with servant. Like, it mean it means when you blink your servants, uh, you actually get a bit more value off of them. Yeah, we're gonna kill this. Kill this before you get a land, so that you cannot treasure map here.
I also don't think I like three Nisses. Nisses is a little, a little expensive. And like, despite the fact that you do want Planeswalkers in this deck, you don't want this many multiples. Like, I'm actually gonna cycle this because it doesn't do anything in our hand in a green land. Just, oh boy. Well, we had a good run, ladies and gentlemen. We had a good run. Just kidding. It was bad run. What's your favorite meat and then favorite dish using that meat? Uh, I don't actually eat a lot of meat. My, I eat maybe two meats. So out of the two meats I eat, it's chicken. And I'm not sure what my favorite m meal with that meat would be. Oh, yes, that's exactly what we wanted. A blue white land. Please, Field of Ruins me. It's all I've ever wanted. So we're definitely going to make some changes to this deck after this match. I don't understand. You have six, six cards in hand. I don't get it. Ever think that Mike can become a chicken and you ate? Um, I have never had that thought. Thank goodness. Oh, I see. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's fine. Deal. 1,000% fine. <clears throat> Thanks for the fixing. Americans do probably eat too much chicken. You're probably not wrong. All right, in the land, we're going to play one of these these bad Larrys. <clears throat> Americans do eat too much bacon. Americans fetishize bacon. That's real weird. How do we always end up getting on the food conversations? Is double inspiring stature any good? It doesn't feel very good. It just feels kind of... Kind of... <laughs> oh, we're having a good time. So I can Nissa for one here? Whatever, it's fine. Oh, Nissa for two, actually. So now we can actually try to hit a land here. Land one time. Well, it's not a land. Never. Never good. Uh, every day is Chicken Sunday, whether you want it to be or not. That's just... When you cast an artifact, here we go. That is some efficient construction right there. I'm so uncomfortable with everything that's that. What? This deck is amazing. This deck is everything I want to be doing with my life. So she goes to three, right? So she dies to these three anyway. Actually, we'll play Servant. Yeah, all right, we'll scry two. Um, bottom. I want to bottom both of these because, you know, I'm just at a point in my life where I don't really need that kind of that kind of negativity, you know. That moment when your opponent plays two things, you have to deal with, which is Traxos and efficient construction.
All right. Yeah, we're definitely going to make some changes to this after this match. Yeah. Like you do. It's a lot of uh a lot of chopper boys. What up, John? Good seeing you, buddy. Yep, we're done here. Alright. Well, let's go back to the old drawn board. This mana base. Not ideal. Sort by color. Significantly more white. Alright, so we're gonna go green. Can you can you move them? There you go, blue. Uh, blue white will be over here. Blue green. I don't know what just happened. I think I just removed a hinterland harbor. It's okay. I didn't want the old one anyway. I wanted want the new one anyway. I wanted the old one. Um, okay, so we're gonna add. These are all. These are all break evens. So that's fine. And then we can add white, blue, white, blue, green, green. And this is all break evens as well. This is all an even number of white, blue, and green cards. It's a weird way of doing it, but that's how we're going to do it. So. So what we're seeing here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blue sources here. Eleven blue symbols here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven green sources and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven white sources. So mana is all equal. And then you have this much more white mana and one extra. Okay, so we can actually add this and add a single white, right? So this is how much extra white cards we have. How, how many extra white cards on how much extra white cards and then you look at this mana base and it's like why is there so much of everything that's not white so we have 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 blue sources 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 green sources and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 12 green sources so 15, 15, 12 right 4, 8, 9, 10 15, 15, 12. <coughs> Doesn't seem right. I mean, we just don't need botanical sanctums. I'd rather have two more sun petal groves. And I would rather have one more one of one more of these. And probably. But the problem is like you have Llanowar Elves, but you only have you literally have two ways to cast a Llanowar Elf on turn one. This doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand this. But I mean, like now you have four—you have four green sources to cast a land or elf on turn one. That's not a good amount. Like even if you add two extra forests. Oh, botanical sanctums is what they were for. I see what you're saying. just not great I don't think we I think we can use one island just to search for it if we have to we can get rid of the hinterland harbor so what is this four five six seven eight four eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty four eight, six, eight. this is 19 sources of white which is better how is that possible four eight nine ten eleven twelve seventeen sources of white uh, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14 sources of green now. I think, yeah, actually, Hub might be a lot better. 
I like Hub a lot better than Sanctum. Oh, I kind of like Rashmi, actually. That's pretty funny. Um, are there any tri lands or like all color lands? Because you still have to cut two lands from here. Is this a 24 land deck? That's ambitious. Is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, we can probably cut like irrigated farmlands at this point. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Now we have nineteen white sources. This is great because it's also a white source. So it's nineteen white sources, four, seven, eight. 12 blue sources, which is much more in line with what I feel like we should have. And then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 green sources. Eight of which come into play untapped on turn one. Okay, I'm a bigger fan of that mana base. I still don't think it's perfect, but I think we're getting there. I definitely want to cut a Nyssa. Is Dovin Bond? Isn't just Karn better than Dovin Bond? I guess we're going to go format standard because, boy, otherwise. Is Jace any good? I don't think so. I really don't want to double blue spell on turn three. That doesn't sound great. Why aren't we playing Karn's Temporal Sundering in this deck? That's interesting. Why is Dovin better in this deck? Can you explain it to me rather than just saying no? <laughs> no on Rashmi. Um, I'm in the gray area on Rashmi right now. I kind of don't want double a Johnny. Exiling target creature is pretty good, but six mana is also a lot. I kind of want at least two Karn's Temporal Sundering. It seems like it's just a great... Like, being able to, to activate your Planeswalkers twice, then Karn's Temporal Sundering, and then activate them another two times is pretty sweet. I think Raph is a little too cute. Like, I'd rather just play... I'd rather just play a Karn on, on this turn. I don't think this is a standard. Like, I think I'd rather be playing Planeswalkers than a card that makes me play my Planeswalkers earlier. I don't know. Maybe that's silly. Maybe I just don't get the... Maybe I'm not getting the deck, but that doesn't seem great to me. Do we have any non-legendary permanents? One, two. Everything is legendary in our deck, except for, like, Seal Away and Servant and Land of War Elf. What if we just take the Seal Aways out and the Cast Outs out and we just build around Ruinous Blast? Um, I don't know if I like blue-white that much better. Uh, I don't think you need artifacts with Karn. I don't think you really need the ultimate, of the negative two ability. Like, it's just a draw cards, right? Like, it's just a draw card guy. Actually, maybe we just want another Dovin. I'll just add another Dovin Bond. This feels like a 5-0 that he spent weeks trying to get. Yeah, I can I can actually see that. That does not sound terribly off to me. Um, one more card. We might actually just take out one seal away for something else. We have three Settle the Wreckages. I don't know how many seal aways we're really going to need. And I kind of just want something reactive, like a, like a negate or something. Just a catch-all. I could see Supreme Will, like two Supreme Wills here. It's the Destroy Land Saga. Oh, like the uh, Destroy Lands, bring two back, bring two back. Yeah, that's cute, I guess. I like Supreme Will here. There's two Oath of Teferis right here. They're literally in the deck. 
Is syncopate better than supreme will? Like, like the only time you're ever supreme willing. I mean, like supreme will also digs us deeper if we want to against like aggressive decks. I guess syncopate's on. You can syncopate on two, but is that better? I don't know what to do. Um, I do like an Escanta, actually. Maybe. Supreme. Well, on the bright side, IMD Schmuck, um, you were correct. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try it like this. I actually think the sideboard's good. I kind of like the sideboard. I don't know if I love Kefnet, but I do love Four Negates and Blink. And Forsake and Fumigate and Cast Out, so. Alright, let's try one more match with this and see if this is an improvement. Alright, so, like, this is a weird... Because this is always going to... I don't like these coming to play tapped in this deck. Overwhelming Splendor. What is that? That sounds familiar, but I can't think of what it actually does. All right, one blue mana, and we are uh, we're good to go. G two G, as the kids say. Untapped blue mana. That's not it. All right. This would have been a great turn. We can go Dovin Bond, draw a card. Next turn, Oath of Teferi, draw two cards. Oath of a Johnny. Now we're talking. Great. I guess we're just going to keep attacking, see if we want to seal this guy away. Yeah, it's a weird kind of like it's a weird little tension. Whereas like you want to be a land, you want to be a deck that puts a, a a cycle land into play first turn, so you can play a check land on turn two. But you also want to be a deck that plays um land of war elf on turn one. So you know, it's kind of like what's your deal? <laughs> they can't counter a Dovin Bond fast. Cancel. Interesting. I am confused. That is like the worst of your options. Hmm. Well, we're just going to run. I um, guess we'll leave this guy up so we can. Oh, I did it wrong. No, I'll counter that as well, you see. Essence scatter. Okay, well, this line of where else going to probably kill you. You'll basically be dead in 15 turns. Well, they're definitely enjoying their their lands here. They also only have one white source. <coughs> no recovering from the uh, the old cancel your Dovin bond. Welcome to standard. One, two, three. How about this guy? Oh god. What is this? Oh no. Oh no. Never. Get there. <clears throat> Torrential gear schmulk. So I assume you have another Torrential Gear Hulk. 
but I think that's actually fine. I will attack you with everything. You can block one of these guys, take five. And then we get a free... If you, I hope you commit to memory. I hope we draw seven here. That'd be such gas. Because you don't really have any other options. Also, now we can blink hub and uh, get another... They can't settle with only one with only one white mana. That is not how that card works. Oh, yes. Are we doing it? Am I going to get a whole handful? I mean, they could go one, two, three ruins, sure, and then settle. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I mean, like they have cancel in their main deck. I'm not putting them on field of ruining their, you know, one of our lands, getting a plains, and then settling. I think it's much more likely they had second torrential gear hulk, which is what what I predicted and what happened. Oh, seems good. Yeah, that's pretty okay. I'm just going to play a Lyra Dawnbringer, I guess. Oh, indestructible one. Nice. Let's make sure we play a land this turn. I mean, if they want to fumigate here, that's fine. We still get to keep Gideon, so that's pretty good. And they do. All right. No, just a cast out. Okay. Well, that is unfortunate. We do not get to keep Gideon. What are the odds they have... And I'm pretty sure we play this angel over the other one because, good lord, have you cast this thing? It's insane. I mean, what are the odds they have a cancel or a supreme will? God, if they don't have anything, we can just miss out and win. That'd be pretty sweet. Risk it for the biscuit. Never. Never happening. I assume it's going to be a cancel, yeah, so I'd rather just go for the, the full Monty there. Nothing but lands. All four Aether Hubs as well. That's pretty interesting. So I definitely we're going to forsake for the cast out, the search, and the uh, Torrential Gear Hulk. Speaking of which, here's another Torrential Gear Hulk. No, oh, just go to eight. All right. <coughs> the cancels don't feel great. That's a good card. That is a good card. You have Tefri in your deck, but you're running Cancel instead of like Disallow? That's interesting. I'm very confused. Didn't untap a fielder run. Do 
Do we not tap a white here? Come on. All right, let's go one, two, three, four. Negate. You got it. Well, our attacks have been neutralized. Stipulation, not play Aether Revolt cards. Is that easy? I don't even know, actually. How many good Aether Revolt cards are there? Like, none? I think Fatal Push is the only playable Aether Revolt card. Well, Gearhawk is a Kaladesh card, right? This is not an Aether Volt card. Sure. I heard, it, I heard that there was a bug where you had to untap your opponent's land, but until just now... I had not seen it, and that's pretty hilarious that that's a thing. Either either Hulk, either Hulk again, either Revolk, Torrential, either Gear Hulk. Right, but the thing about play, about a card that says untap lands is that you don't have to target tapped. You don't have to. Typically in Magic's history, you don't have to actually untap a tapped thing. If something says untap a creature, you don't actually have to choose a tapped creature. I guess we just deal with this. One, two, three. Come sail away with me. Well then. Well, I'm not saying it's a May ability. I'm saying like there are cards that say untap a creature and you can choose a tapped creature. Like untapping something, a prerequisite for 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 choosing something to untap does not is not that it has to be tapped. It's that magic has never really been like that. I'm gonna look it up. <clears throat> like Ral Zarek, what does Ral Zarek say? That's a super weird stipulation. So the question is, do we get rid of this Teferi or do we get our do we try to get our Lyra back? Probably get rid of the Teferi, right? It doesn't matter, it's not resolving. They have a seven card grip. Oh. I guess it does resolve. Well, I'll be. Mm-hmm. 
we are running out of cards. And by that, I mean we've already run out of cards. So, I guess not having target on it is the big stipulation there. Wow, are you just going to... I guess you just play Gear Hulk and don't hit anything. Oh my god, are you just going to... Ah, okay. I'm going to I'm going to go to the next game now. Tefri would have been good, but that's never resolving, so. Okay. Let's take Seal away out. Let's take Settle out. And bring in negate, 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 forsake, forsake. Um I don't love a Johnny here. I'd rather have a Nezakal. Nez Nezahal. Kefnet seems good in this matchup. Lenoir Elves seem pretty bad. We'll bring in Blink, Blink. Cast out, cast out. <coughs> I guess I'm bringing in Commit to Memory, but I'm really not a big Commit to Memory fan. Yeah, this is the Kefnet matchup where you're like super grindy. I will play first. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. No more elves. I think we're in better shape here. Oh, I'm the entertainer for the Cinco de Mayo party. Nice. That's pretty sweet. I'm tempted to cycle one of these, but I don't know if that's any good. I'm just going to play this because... I ain't going to get greedy about lands here. So we're definitely not running out Dovin Bond here because that's pretty ridiculous. See how much they want their ca their search for Azkanta. Well, I guess they don't want it that badly after all. All right, it's probably just gonna play Gideon here, maybe, or I don't play anything here. 
Just keep out cast out. I can't imagine like playing something here. They have four mana up. Six cards. Like we can hold out until we get like negates and stuff. I mean, I was hoping they canceled this because then we just get to play whatever, but the jig is up apparently. Yeah, we're definitely not running a Teferi into their their double blue. <laughs> field of ruin, field of ruin. Sure, that's pretty good. I can definitely see, like, against this matchup, I can definitely see why you want the Raph in here, because you just go end of turn Raph, and then it's really awkward for them. I mean, one more blue, and we can... Or actually, one more any land, and we can play Nezahal, so... That seems pretty good. Sure. Got the negate too? No. <coughs> All right. Got a dude on board. It's just Dovin Bond here. That seems bad. They have seven mana. We got Forsaken cast out. We have things we can do. Gear Hulk into Glimmer. That's pretty good. Not bad. I'll let this resolve and then we'll forsake this guy. And Gideon survives. What if he doesn't have? What if? Uh, what if he doesn't have it? What are you gonna do then? Well, I mean, we're not gonna. One second, just looking for a thing. Teferi, your friend and mine. Let's see if we can donk Teferi. Cast out Teferi. Or cast out Gideon, rather. That would be fine.
Mm-hmm. Oh, that's even better, actually. One, two, three, four, five. Me too, good sir, me too. Oh, that was a great draw. <clears throat> it's all coming up Millhouse. Shouldn't we have buried their Teferi? What does that mean? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, this I actually thought this was only creatures. It's not only impermanent. That's pretty good. Um, I mean, we got rid of her forever, though, so I think that's also pretty good. But yeah, if we didn't draw a land, they could have done that to our Tefri, which is significantly more awkward, so. Which is what they're going to do now, I guess. Yep. All right. <laughs> Man. One, two, three, four, one, two. We are one shy of playing both of these. I guess we'll just play Nezzle Hall here. I hope they try to counter this. Not knowing it can't be count. Oh, they didn't. Dang. Oh my god, don't have a cast out as well. Sure, draw a card. Seems good. This guy doesn't have any form of evasion, though. It can't be island walking or. You got it. <clears throat> so we get to play Teferi next turn. It's pretty good. I'm actually surprised. Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say I'm, I'm gonna be surprised if they play Fumigate, if they still have Fumigate in their deck because it looks like they were tapping five. But uh, just to commit. Didn't activate? I don't know what that means. No, I don't want to discard three cards. I'm just going to draw it again. It's totally fine. All these cards, like, I, I'm not going to discard three of the, like, a Dovin Bond and a Lyra just to keep it in hand. I mean, if you want to counter Dovin Bond, that's totally fine. And I'll just play Teferi. And if you have two counters in your six cards, that can counter non creatures. Which I guess you might. Sure. Yeah, well, all right. You got it. The double cancel. Seems good. Um, you can have the seal away. I 
Man, it'd be nice if we drew one of our four negates in this in this matchup. Yeah, I'm still wondering about these cancels. This allow is like ten tickets on Magic Online, which is pretty ridiculous. Oh, it's actually only five now. Okay. I might be thinking, maybe I'm thinking real life. I don't know. Prices are confusing to me. <clears throat> Interesting. Is that worth it? The problem is returning it to the battlefield tapped is really bad because then they just get an opportunity to seal away. So I'm just going to let it happen again. Like, trade it with a tap rate. What's my, what, what, what does what's your gauge on Lich's mastery mean? Specify. Okay, just infinite Teferis. Teferis all day. Why am I playing any other deck than this? That's what I don't understand. Uh, put... Two, three, four, five. Yeah, put Glimmer in your hand. The old seven cards, huh? Seems good. I mean, we're just playing cards that just get countered, which is really sad. You don't even need more cards. I don't understand. You're drawing two from these guys. What did they do at the end? Oh, they cycled? Sure. Yeah, I have no idea why you played Glimmer there. Like, you just don't need more cards. Oh, this is just... I'm just... I think we're going to scoop here. I don't think we have any way to win this game, unfortunately. Uh, you can have that one. I see. Unkicked. All right. Hey, it's your boy. I'll be primal tied and all up in here. I'll dig do it again. Oh. Alright, well. Just gonna keep casting. What are you gonna do? You gonna draw a card? Let me draw a card? Everybody's drawing cards. Okay. Sure. So it just comes back at the end of the turn tapped, and then they're just like, here you go, seal away. Unless they discard their only seal away? That doesn't make sense, though. Oh, 
whatever. We'll find out. No? You got something else? I get to draw another card? I don't know what this does. Blink in response? What's even happening right now? It's all very strange. Sure. That's actually better, right? Because now you don't get to see. I don't know. I don't even know what's going on anymore. They've drawn 22 extra cards than us. That's pretty ridiculous, right? Yeah, the thing is with Aetherling, at least you're, like, doing 10 points a turn. Now I gotta deal with this 2-2. Two -two. I mean, just, it's so futile just playing this guy, like... I mean, they're just gonna Teferi, put it 3 under, we take 7. They make another guy. Oh, they just got an emblem. Are you drawing a card? Exile target permanent. Yeah, we're just done. <laughs> we're just done. All right. Well, on that note, this deck did not seem to be uh, as powerful as we had liked it to be. Oath of Teferi seems sweet, but I feel like there's not a lot of good Planeswalkers in white and blue that are really taking advantage of this deck. Uh, or, or taking advantage of Oath of Teferi in the format right now. And, um, you know, the, the ones that are in the format, like Teferi... Or, uh, you know, Gideon, they're just good on their own. Like, getting two activations out of Gideon in a turn isn't even that great, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Not great, uh, unfortunately, but uh, still worth trying out, and uh, we'll try some other decks soon. So be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.